Hi, my name is Ryan Littlestone from ForexFlow.live. Going to speak to you a bit about the Aussie dollar. Uh, this is a currency that uh, myself and uh, my colleagues in our trading room have been uh, looking at for since the early part of the year, first week of the new year. Um, what we'll be looking at here is, is to play it from the short side. Um, what we've seen is obviously these wildfires in Australia that uh, they may have a negative impact uh, on the economy over there. Uh, along with the RBA, seemingly on a, on a rather dovish slant and the market not too sure perhaps when a, a rate cut's going to come or how hard it's going to be. Is it going to be 25 pips or 50 pips? Um, we've got the meeting on the 4th of February, so that's what's on our radar at the moment. But as I say, we've been playing this from the short side uh, since the beginning of the year quite successfully. Obviously, we've got the impact of this coronavirus hitting into it as well, because obviously the strong links between uh, China and Australia. So if we look at the Aussie dollar daily chart here, um, we can see that we've had a solid top right up at that uh, into the 70 area. Um, that was a place I, I like to have grabbed shorts from. Um, in fact, I did have a short up there and got stopped out when it ticked up to the highs there. Um, that was just a short term trade. But I got back in um, from the mid 68s and, and scaled in up into uh, 69.30 on, on the last move up there. And we've seen it since we've seen this this risk off tone, uh, as I say, the fires and now with the, the virus kicking in, we've seen the Aussie come under a lot of pressure um, and that's pushing it down. And we've just gone through the 68 handle the, this morning um, down to a low around about 67.70. Um, we have a low on, on the chart down at uh, 67.50. That's that's where I'm next looking to see if, if we're going to see some stabilisation or some signs of, of this uh, move holding up for a bit. But if we get under there, then really we're going to see a push on down to the low 67s. Uh, maybe we'll get under there and, and even have a look at the prior lows uh, back in 2019 around the 66.70 area. Now, what we need to see uh, any rebound if we're going to break this, this bearish move, we're going to need to see a, a move firstly back above the 68, 68.10 area, then back up towards 68, maybe 30, 40 and 50. But really, Getting up towards the high 69s, uh, it's going to be a struggle um, ahead of the RBA because we're really not seeing uh, much in the market focus on, on the RBA now because of everything else going on. But I think as, as this week progresses, perhaps we're going to start seeing the RBA coming into play ahead of that Feb 4th meeting, and that's going to maybe put some pressure on. So just to recap again, um, this is a, a trade I'm looking at from the short side. Uh, I'm more of a rally seller. I'm, I'm definitely not a dip buyer at the moment. But if we get down to some of the low areas I've highlighted on the chart, then that's perhaps where I'll start to take further profit on my short positions, maybe see the, the lay of the land and, and whether it's time to, to switch into longs. But the RBA is going to be the big focus, um, so I'm going to wait for that uh, in the following weeks. That's it for me now, so I wish you good luck.